So that is looking pretty good so far and all you would have to do is fill in the rest of the music with your shots. Um, you would you want to time it up to the music, you want to have nice transitions. Um, the one last thing I can teach you is transitions. It's um, pretty highly used in travel videos. Sometimes I would say it's a little overused. So I would suggest you use your transitions wisely. But let's just go ahead and do a transition. Okay, so find your two shots that you want to transition. I have a wide shot here of one of my friends jumping in. Uh, right around here. He's jumping in. And then the other shot is a shot of me um, jumping in, zoomed in. So I want to zoom in from one to the next. So it's not the cleanest zoom in shot, but this will definitely work. It happens so fast that it's not too big of a deal. Uh, when you are planning for transitions, you should be thinking about it while you're taking the video. Um, generally, I don't use a lot of transitions. I just do straight cuts with the beat, a couple fade ins, um, but I kind of avoid the transitions uh, because I've just found it's pretty oversaturated, but it can definitely come in handy and it just helps the footage flow a lot nicer. So it zooms in and then into the next shot. So what I did here was let's just delete all this and start over. So the first thing that I'm going to look in is to the transform in the effects. So let's just drag that onto an adjustment layer. The adjustment layer will help you transition from the one video to the next. So add a new adjustment layer and then add the transform property to that it did not add so we're going to drag that in and then what we're going to do from here is we're going to stop watch the scale let's just zoom in and when we get to about here let's put the zoom or the scale in about 270 is good for me and then from there let's add the offset so we're going to add the offset and we are going to go back to the first keyframe and stopwatch the shift center too and then when we get here we are going to shift our center because we want to put the uh, my friend in the center here. So it's going to zoom into him, press U to open up those keyframes and let's just ease let's just ease in. Okay, I did ease in. So it's going to go to here and then it will go to the next frame and then this is where we want it to be actually quite smaller. And then we are going to center me, scale it down even more here. So 80 is looking pretty good and then it's going to zoom back into 100. Maybe 101. And then we are going to right click and ease that in. So it's going to zoom in and then cut to the next one and zoom in from there. So it almost looks like you're zooming in, but it's two separate shots. And then see the extra border that we have here. To fix that, we are going to add a motion tile to our adjustment layer. Drag the motion tile to the top. Uh, and let's keyframe the output height and width and make sure it's large enough click on mirror edges and then go back one keyframe where we do not need the motion tiling what just happened so here we will actually turn it to a hundred and a hundred so let's just render that really quickly and see what it looks like So it's pretty fast. So there you 
go. Alright, welcome back. It is the next day. So, I spent basically the rest of the night, uh, late into the morning, actually finishing the video. And it definitely improved from where we left off. So I'm just gonna run it through and then uh, just show you guys kind of what I expanded upon and then filled in the rest of the video. So here it is. Okay, so right away, uh, you guys will probably notice the title change from last time. So I used this uh, CRT text. Um, I just really like the look of CRT, which is like basically old cathode ray tube TV. Um, so it scans of text like that. So I put that in instead, and I think it looks much better than before. Um, it just adds a little bit more. The texture is really cool. And then I also took the time and uh, mask, masked out my friend here. Um, just so you can see when he's jumping, it's like he's jumping through the text just to make it feel more like it's in part of the scene. Um, so I'm super happy how that turned out. Uh, this is basically the same. Um, so here I basically edited to the beat. I felt like we didn't really need to see the whole cliff jump. There's a couple spots where it's us jumping off so this one didn't need to be played all the way through and then I decided since I had the close-up of me jumping in and then also the close-up of my friend but the, my friend was only half the footage I thought it'd be cool to just flip it around here. So I come in, he comes out. I thought I just added a little bit more to it. You don't have to go and do anything complex with your travel video, but um, I just find it adds a little bit more interest, and I like just seeing what I can what I can do with the footage and what I can create. basically just just filling it in with the other good footage I had um, right here kind of transitions nice so it's walking through and then it kind of goes upwards in motion goes upwards and then cuts straight to the next one which is kind of taking the same motion here and then I basically speed ramped this to the music and then faded in the next scene so it just kind of seamlessly goes together um, something again you don't have to do it could just be a straight cut but
and then there I just used a zoom out effect because the the drone was already going backwards and then it kind of matched with this shot and I thought this shot uh, was a good kind of tie back to the original shot of my friend jumping in um, and then just a little logo my media logo pop up and then that's kind of it so I hope you guys create something pretty exciting from this um, just see what you guys can do don't be afraid to experiment and uh, I would love to see your videos